Hey everyone, Anthony here. Today, I'm going to be talking about Wondershare Filmora, which is a video editor that I've used for the past two years. I've edited most of the videos on my channel with it, and they just released their latest update, Filmora 9. So I'm going to be checking it out, basically going over what's new, what's changed, and whether or not it's still worth using. I've got the old version of Filmora pulled up right here. Here's the media library, playback window, timeline, pretty standard stuff. Our uh, taskbar, I guess you could call it, with media, music, text, credit, all that good stuff is right here in between. So yeah, this is the old version of Filmora. Here's the new version of Filmora. As you can see, it's a little darker, a little cleaner, still looks pretty, pretty familiar to anyone who's used to the old version, same blue and black color scheme. Our taskbar has been moved up here to the top, leaving some more room open down here, I guess, for the timeline. One of the major changes in Filmora 9 is the way that playback works. Instead of having to render your footage every single time you make an edit, Filmora now automatically generates proxies to make your footage playback smoothly, without the need to render. If that's not enough, you can also manually lower the playback resolution so that it's easier on your computer. In theory, this is great. No more sitting around for two minutes waiting for all of your footage to render out. But in practice, it actually makes things worse. When applying effects, text, and transitions to my footage, I found that the old version of Filmora could actually keep up a lot better than Filmora 9. Without the ability to render the footage properly, Filmora 9's playback quality has been wildly inconsistent for me. Sometimes it works with no problem, other times I'm stuck watching a laggy, pixelated mess. Is a video editor that I've been using for the past couple of years. A quick look in Filmora's product support forum shows that there are a ton of people who are also unhappy about the missing render button. So clearly, I'm not the only one. Here's the render button in the old version of Filmora, and here's the render button in Filmora 9. Oh wait, one new feature that I really appreciate though is the ability to add as many video tracks as you want and be able to apply effects to all of them. In the previous version of Filmora, you had one main video track and anything you added on top of that was just picture and picture and nothing more. You couldn't apply effects or color grades to that extra footage, which was always super annoying. That's all changed here. Filmora 9's new timeline is much more fluid than before. Video clips are easier to move around, tracks can be resized, and overall, it's just better. But if you can't play any of that back smoothly, do any of those changes even matter? Okay. That was my quick review of Filmora 9. Overall, I think it's a great update. Obviously, playback lag is the main concern, but other than that, it adds some much needed functionality and it looks great. If you're a Filmora user, let me know what you think of the updates in the comments. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.